Bethel's bakery is closing its doors for good after months of enduring what they say was relentless harassment. Uprising Bakery and Cafe says it will close at the end of this month. The owner says it's because of the attacks and harassment for attempting to host drag performances. Last year, the bakery's windows and doors were smashed and hate messages were painted on the building. The Sun-Times reports there are several fundraisers being held this month to try and save the bakery. All right. New at 10, bakery backlash. A cafe in Chicago's far northwest suburbs is getting threats after posting this advertisement for a drag show. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman reports from Lake in the Hills where worried staffers met with police tonight. Threatening notes and even human feces have been left on the door of Uprising Bakery and Cafe. Now protests are set for Saturday when that drag brunch is set to take place. And staff here says they're preparing for the potential for violence. Hi, this is Jenny with Uprising Bakery and Cafe. How can I help you? The phone is ringing off the hook at Uprising Cafe and Bakery. You're entitled to your own opinions, of course. Some from angry callers. That one was bad. She started questioning us on why we're doing what we're doing. What Uprising is doing is hosting a Starry Night Drag Brunch. Owner Karina Sack posted this advertisement online. She spoke to performers about keeping their acts kid friendly and hopes families could come here together. That is where people are going to the extreme and saying that we're grooming children and we're pedophiles. The next day, she woke up to hundreds of hateful comments and fake negative reviews online. But that's just the beginning. We've had people spit on our bakery case. We've had feces left outside our door. We've had notes saying pedophiles work here outside. And even Wednesday, police had to escort a woman out from the business after causing a scene. I have never seen this kind of hate in the community. Karina created the event in hopes of bringing in more customers. Inflation has been hurting her bottom line. Instead, some of her longest customers have said they will never support her business again. As we all keep telling each other here, if we lose a few bad apples to gain a whole apple tree, we'll do it if that's what it takes. But despite the hate, customers are calling and coming in just to buy a cookie or two to show support. I hope this is not the end, but if it is, then it feels right because we're doing what we feel is right. Thank you very much. Or, yeah, good one. Thank you. Okay. The Lake in the Hills Police Department says they started receiving messages about the performance in early July, but also say the event poses no violations to their city code. In Lake in the Hills, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. A Northwest suburban bakery that became the target of anti LGBTQ protesters may soon be closing its doors for good. The owner says she can no longer deal with the endless harassment. Uprising Bakery in Lake of the Hills came under fire last July when it announced plans to host an all ages drag brunch. The show had to be postponed after the store was vandalized. The owner says over the last eight months, she has had to deal with hateful comments, negative reviews and disruptive protests, which she feels have driven customers away. Unless she can somehow make up revenue losses, the bakery will close at the end of the month.